45 degrees and draw a straight line now again the circle its base is of 6 centimeters so I need to point find a point that it is of 6 centimeters so I'll just take any point like this now one of the point is on periphery that means that again again I have to find this point like this yeah so this is again and I have to make sure that you're exactly perpendicular so I'll draw the base in this fashion and I'll make it dark using my sketch pen oh now this point is 5 I'll name it 5 1 that is the point and this is 1 1 that is in suffix and I need to find the other points so for finding the other points I'll just find out the distance between 2 and uh, 1 and 2 and cut an arc here and similarly I'll this, uh, the same measurement will be there to cut an arc here so these points that I have got this is 1 1 this is 5 1 this is there this is 2 1 and 8 1 and finally this is 4 1 and 6 1 I need to draw parallel to this that is 6 7 sorry and then join these both Okay, so for marking the points of the this base, that is the front so front part, I need to extend my lines downwards like this in this way and mark these points in the same order that is here. So this is A1, B1, H1 c1 g1 this point is uh, this this point is b1 h1 this point is c1 g uh, c1 g1 this point is d1 f1 and this is finally e1 now to get the top view i need to extend my line upwards and extend my rays horizontally from here so first i will extend my lines from th uh, this figure that has to be exactly perpendicular to this line okay first I'll mark the lines on this then I will move to the other circle because there will be two circles that will be there so not to get confused and this point that you are seeing here is 3 1 and 7 1 okay so line 1 so this uh, this point is here as 1 then again 2 and 4 has to be marked line 2 and this is 4 2 and 4 and this is 3 and 7 E also had to be marked 5 also had to be marked sorry so this is a 1 and 5 6 8 and 6 8 and 6 
and finally I have 7 the point should not be this dark but to make you understand I'm oh sorry this is not the point the point will be on this line So let's just connect the points. This will come as an ellipse, a uh, perfect ellipse in your book because I'm not taking the uh, dimensions that is division of uh, the circle properly. So this is a little bit of a weak figure. And the next I'll just mark the points. This is 7 one dash I'll begin from here one one dash two one dash three one dash four one dash five one dash six one dash seven one dash and eight one dash okay next I need to promote these points upwards so let's see where it goes okay exactly perpendicular so this line is here then again parallel to that straight line from this point these are the projectors of these points and the projectors of points from the base circle that is uh, in our reference figure will give us the final dimensions okay now these same points will be projected here now c will be projected on this line c is on this line so this way then b and d will be there b and d will be on this level either on this and this line next will be a and e will be there on this reference line so a will be here and a will be here and e will be here a is here on this line so a is uh, on this point just above 5 and E is here the next is H and F will be on this lines this is H and this is F so just leveling it these are the two points and finally I'll have my finally have my G on this line which is there now just me we are there will be one of the th uh, one of the sides of the circle that is this circle would be dotted and the other line would be in a say that's why i'll just draw do one thing i'll just draw the outer circle first now this circle would be visible because this line is visible now this line is not at this point this half of the circle won't be visible so that has to come in dotted line that is in this fashion And now I'll just mark the points which were there in in order with using blue so that it's visible. This is A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash, E1 dash, F1 dash, G1 dash, H1 dash. Okay, now to just joining the edges. 3 to C and 7 to G so this is my this projections that you're seeing is my final uh, front view and top view of the cylinder that is there in question number 3 of today now let's move on to the final question of uh, today now this in this there are in the given solid is inclined with uh, two uh, both I mean both the planes that is HP and VP okay let's read the problem first a, ha a hexagonal pyramid of 30 mm side of base that is base uh, it has six hexagonal has six sides and each side is of 30 mm and 45 mm length of axis is resting on one of its tri triangular faces on HP one of the triangular faces is on HP that is the condition that is given and draw the projections of the pyramid when at the edge of the base which is on 
HP is inclined at 40, 60 degrees with respect to VP. So, now there are two conditions that are given. First is that the uh, the cone, uh, sorry, the pyramid, the hexagonal pyramid that we have has uh, is resting on one, so one of its triangular faces, and before that we'll have the initial condition in which the triangle would, uh, the hexagonal uh, pyramid would be in this side. Then in the next condition it would be put in this uh, fashion so that this is a triangular face which is lying on HP, and then what will happen is the one of its side which is there in HP would be at 60 degrees with respect to uh, with respect to VP and hence we'll have the final figure. So let's quickly start uh, the problem and start drawing it. Now there will be three stages of this problem. First will be the basic uh, reference figure. Second would be the first condition that is given in the question and the third figure would be the final figure that we have when it is uh, it is fulfilling all the conditions of the question. Okay, the first thing that we always do that is draw line XY. Okay, so this is x and this is y. So begin at extreme left hand side, uh, extreme left hand uh, position of uh, the question uh, of this line, so that you have enough enough space to finish the question. So quickly, we'll just draw, draw the figure. I'll first draw the hexagon. That is, uh, if it is a hexagonal pyramid, my top view would be a hexagon. So first, I'll draw a hexagon with free hand, so that uh, quickly. And the side is given as 30 mm. So 30 mm is what I'm going to take. And I'll quickly just draw it out. This is just I'm um, just drawing a rough thing here, just to trying to have a maximum possible dimensions. Okay, this is the hexagon that we're having, and the edges would be coinciding at the center. So all these points would be connected uh, at the center because it is a pyramid. So now this is a bit, uh, you know, compressed, but it would be uh, okay to refer it. Now we'll say A, B, C, D. We'll mark it as begin from A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay. Now let's extend the projectors upwards to have these points on line X, Y. This is the initial condition that we have. So here let's make the color reverse. So this is A dash, B dash. This is C dash, F dash, this is E dash and D dash. And finally, the center that is O would be lying somewhere on this line. Then I'm going to extend in this way upwards. The height of the pyramid is given as 45 mm. So 45 mm is what I'll take on my scale that is on my compass and I will cut it in this way and I'll join all these points I'll just join all these points to this point now it is a hexagon so this uh, be, will be this won't be visible and this will be visible but it will be covering it so we will not have any dotted lines and the top part that is this will be O dash. Okay, then what it is saying that uh, this is the uh, I'll mark it as D A. This is the triang this is the triangular side that is there. So now what I I'll do is I'll just pick up it, I pick this up and uh, make it lie. This triangle side will lie on this line. So first what I'll do, I'll uh, I'll measure this. That is this is approximately 4.7. Or I'll do one thing. I'll just take a point measure this I'll keep the center as here measure this measure this put my pointed end here and cut an arc here so this is my 
line O dash okay wait this point and this point this point is e dash d dash e1 dash d1 dash and this point is my o1 dash it's given by like this now i need to replicate this triangle up upside so i'll do i'll just measure the angle I'll uh, I'll just do one thing. I'll just measure the angle between this line that is keeping the center at ED. I'll just measure the angle of this is it is coming as if I begin from zero, it is coming at around 65 degrees. So at 65 degrees, okay. One I'll just confirm it once again. This is the center it is coming at 65 degrees so I'll just make an angle of 65 degrees that is here and then my base is a D that is I'll just draw this straight line measure my a D and cut an arc here so this point that I have obtained is a dash and b dash i'll just quickly connect all the lines to have my this is my triangular side this is ta that is my triangular side this side has come here and i'll just uh, mark the center of it quickly and this would be c1 dash and f1 dash and i'll connect this also using this so that my this figure is complete so now i i'll extend the projectors downwards and extend it in this fashion so i've got c1 here B and D would be coming on here and here. A, A and E will be coming. A and A1 here and E1 here. Okay, let's mark.